really matter what camera it is. He's like, it's more about who's taking the picture. And I was like, well, that's stupid. What's up, guys? Welcome back to Magic Stream Rewind. I'm Nevin, and today we got Cody Nottingham on the show. So here's a scoop. They, we flew me down to Kentucky. We're currently in Cody's house, and we had a little bit of a special episode planned for you this week. Uh, we're shooting a few new effects coming to Magic Stream in the near future, which is super exciting. So we'll drop a teaser of those in somewhere. <laughs> I don't know. I'll put them in somewhere. And so you'll see. Now! That. We'll put them in now. Roll the clip. <laughs> and so, uh, <laughs> and now, and now, the other half. And Cody, back to you. <laughs> Tom, Tom, Joy, back to you. Uh, we got these. We got new effects coming to Magic Stream very soon. I know you guys have been asking, asking. You shall receive. So those are coming very soon. Now, because we got Cody Nottingham here this week, we're going to talk about uh, one of his effects. We haven't really talked about it too much, but we haven't talked about it at all. Actually, it's like, what should we? What should we talk about? I'm like, obviously, one of my. <laughs> One of my thousand effects that's on up there, you know. Like, we counted. You only have eighteen. So you're eight, so eighteen. Eighteen. Okay. Justin Miller has way more. He does. He has double what you have. You, he does. You're nothing love, special. I love Justin. I, I do. <laughs> I love Justin Miller. Anyways, pick pick one. You want to talk about? Oh man, I don't know. Um, is is Jog on there? Yeah, Jogs is on there. Jogs is on Magic Stream. Mm. That's kind of what got me this job in a way. Is it? A little bit, yeah. Yeah. I remember um, Magic Stream had just become a thing. Um, and then Garrett was like doing a homegrown section for people who are filming and editing their own material. Mm -hmm. And he messaged me on Instagram. He's like, God, I love that. Like, can you, do you want to release it with us? And I was like, yeah. You know, I could do that. Because I was selling it on my own and yeah. Right. So not, not, so, not, make, not making a whole lot of money. <laughs> uh, but so, I, I mean, uh, so this was, so Jogs was kind of your introduction to the company, right? In, in a way. Yeah. Yeah. I filmed, I filmed with Delusionist 2014 with McKinnon, Adam Wilbur, uh, Lloyd Barnes and, and Brad Christian in New York City. Um, Famous words, New York City, because I was new in front of the camera in a way. I was like, uh, oh, use the same intro over and over and over and over. Hey guys, I'm Cody Nottingham here in New York City with Illusionist. I want to show you uh, what we call the Swiss Maneuver. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, yeah, it, you know, Jog came along and so was, it was Jogs. Did that I had along for a, for a long time. Was Jogs? Did that come after your shoot in New York City or before that? Shoot? Yeah, yeah, after, it, after it came after after There's something about something about Mark Dex, you know. Like Daniel Madison had a couple different Mark decks that were out, mm -hmm. um, and then he had one in particular that used a certain method, where it was difficult to see. It had to be certain particular lighting and so on and so forth. Don't want to give it away. Right. Um, so it kind of inspired Jog, and I kind of used, you know, a, a really common gimmick to make that. So G, you know, Garrett got a got a hold of me, and you know. From there on, I started releasing homegrown material. And yeah, you know, Queens. I think, Queen, no, you know what? I think Queens might have been first, but Jog was definitely within the top two. No, can't how, remember which one's first. But. So, how did Jog, how do you think Jogs made that transition into working for Illusionist? Because you had done projects before, right? And then you shot Jogs or however the order was. Yeah. And how do you think that, that really got you the in when you filmed your own effect to go on that extreme? Mm. Do you think that filming no. process was part of 
saying, hey guys, I know how to do cinema photography. I can video myself. I can do this for others. You know, this is a good introduction to that. Well, I'll, I'll kind of give maybe a boring story. So, okay. um, I don't know. I, w- I was interested in releasing material when I was like 16, 17, 18, 18 years old. Always wanted a camera, but can never afford it. They're so, like, my job before this, um, starting out, was like at a water park, picking up garbage when I was 16. So, I did working at uh, Kmart. I worked at an auto parts store. I worked at a flower shop. I worked at... Um, FedEx for a long time, making a good living as a driver. Done a lot of different jobs. They've always been a step up. It's always been a step up, a progression. Because if you're not progressing, then you're losing, right? Yeah. You don't want to lose. So, so you kept that. growing. But yeah, you bought the kept, camera. Kept going. So what I did was, you know, I filmed with Illusionist in 2014. Uh, somewhere right around there. I filmed you know, Pass Through. Pass Through. Washington. Filmed all those releases that you pop, pop, uh, Shake. probably know. Shake. Shake. Um, Swiss Maneuver, all those releases that you probably know right. from me, uh, which are now on Magic Stream. And, and you know, Very I went up to me. McKinnon. I went to Peter. I went to, up to Peter McKinnon. Yep. And uh, I was like, oh, I have the brand new whatever phone that I had at the time, Samsung S four, S five, something, whatever it may have been. <laughs> and I was like, uh, you know, he was taking pictures of his phone in the Empire State Building. And I was like, this has the best camera of any phone at the, at the time. Mm-hmm. See what pictures you can take with this. And he's like, yeah, but it doesn't really matter what camera it is. He's like, it's more about who's taking the picture. And I was like, well, that's stupid. <laughs> <laughs> you know. And then he showed me later on a picture that he took of the Empire State Building with his iPhone negative four back then i don't know what, what it <laughs> <Negative>. was <laughs> yeah, whatever it may have been and i was like mesmerized or whatever so i go home and i sell my truck that i died for like i love that truck i sold yeah. it bought a camera bought a laptop uh started you know just different things and, and learning the system but anyways that's just a kind of a story to kind of entertain you i guess for the most part but that's what happened and um Bought a camera, bought a computer, blah, 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 blah. Um, started doing side work after work. So, like, doing uh, barber shops, doing products, doing blah, all this Practicing. stuff. Practicing as well. All that stuff. Getting paid while you practice. Do, yeah, getting paid while I Growing practice. the skill. That's it. That's it. And, you know, and then I started filming Jog and, and, and Queens and so on and so on. Not my best work, but at the time I was still... Kind of growing, practicing. So that was your that was your first thing you filmed yourself was jogging and yeah, kids. yeah, yeah. And then you know, Garrett picked up on that. Um, you know, just kept going on and on. Mm-hmm. Magic Live comes around in two thousand and eighteen. Um, took my last three hundred dollars mm-hmm. to my name, and I was like, you know what, screw it, um, I'm going. I'm right. going to go. I know Garrett's going to be there. I know the guys are going to be there. Um, so after, I've, I've, I've taken risks my entire life. Right. I want to go. I want to ask for a job. So after you filmed Jogs, uh, how long after do you think this was? Oh, uh, man. That was probably like March or April, I would assume. Uh, and then 20, I went 2018. 2018. And then no, no, no. That was, that was a, maybe a little bit before that. So maybe 2017. 2017. So but I was doing I was doing so much side work at the time. I kind of got out of magic for a little bit. But that was the first two projects that I filmed magic wise myself for me. Right. Um, and so now you have these under your belt. 2017, 2018 2017, rolls. Like that. Right. Yeah. Some, somewhere around that time. Yeah. 2017, 2018 rolls around. Magic Live hits. You got three hundred dollars in your pocket, and you're going to Vegas. Going to Vegas. <laughs> so you're going to Vegas, and you're meeting up with the team. Going up to Vegas, um, I've known Garrett and I knew, I knew Lloyd for you know, 10, 11 years. Yep. Um, so I wasn't intimidated or anything like that. But So I decided to go, uh, met up with both of those guys. At the, you know, or may, I can't remember if Lloyd was there or not, but Garrett was there. We were filming, uh, Dwayne was there. They were filming uh, Eric Jones' Metal 4. Funny enough, I go on to film Metal 5, which right. is kind of like a, you know, it's a full circle. circle. Yeah. But... 
we go to um, we go to a Supreme store. Didn't know what Supreme was. I don't know if it was Supreme Pizza, Supreme whatever, <laughs> whatever, whatever, whatever it was. But I was in. I'm like, if there's food, I'm I'm in. I'm doing it. And there was no food involved. No, at all. That's not so Supreme. we go film <laughs> Metal Four. I tag along. Um, Eric was there. Dwayne was there. Garrett was there. Me and, yeah. and uh, we film and. Um, but you weren't part of the filming process. I wasn't. I you just tagged just... along because I was I was Garrett's friend. I was I was Dwayne's friend. Uh, you were friends with everyone on the team. I'm friends with along. everybody on the team. Right. That you know, I've been working, doing homegrown stuff with them, but all this stuff beforehand. A little freelance here, there. A little freelance here and there. Um, and then yeah, so Garrett's like, you know, McDonald's is just a mile down the street. Right. Half a mile, a mile, something like that. Anyways. Uh, Eric's like, I'm not walking a mile. He's like, I'm getting an Uber. So he gets an Uber. The guys jump in. Garrett's like walking. I'm like, mind you, it's super hot. You're in Vegas. Crazy hot. It's not August ideal. in Vegas. Not ideal walking conditions to begin with. No, no. I'm wearing all black. Right. You know, Garrett's like, oh, I'm going to walk. I'm right. like, ah, mm -hmm. now's my opportunity. Yeah. Like, here's my opportunity. So I was so just determined to get this job. I spent my last bit of money. I had been filming... Um, Stuff on my own, um, determined you, to get this job. You had the camera, you had the gear. I had the gear. And I was like, You had the skills now. I was like, Hey, Garrett, want a job? Like, basically, that's what it comes down to. Well, I want a job. I've been wanting a job for 10 years in the magic industry. Mm -hmm. um, well, like, give me one. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. I was like, I would love to give you one. Yeah. But, but there's no position for you. There's like no position for you at all. Mm -hmm. Who's like, um, you know, I see the homegrown work that you that you've done, like the the, the skills are are, are there, mm -hmm. um, but you know, let me let me see what I can give do me for some you. time. Yeah, let me see what I can do. Give me some time. So I was like, ah, okay. No, I go, I go home. I just had a hard day at work, but um, Garrett texts me. He's like, hey. Um, you wanted a job, stuck my neck out for you because I believe in you mm. because I see the work that you've done, how much hard work you put in. The sacrifices you've made. The sacrifices. And he's like, so we're going to give you a job as freelance. I'm like, oh, okay. I was so excited. I couldn't yeah. stand it. Yeah. Yes. Got it. Uh, going to go quit my job. <laughs> and he's like, don't quit your job. <laughs> <laughs> Do not quit. Yeah. Repeat, do not quit don't, your job. Don't, don't, don't quit, quit it. it. <laughs> and uh, work my butt off. Work what was the first off. project you were sent on? Do you remember? First trailer you ever made. No. Um, Seth. Uh, Seth Race. Seth Race. Inflation. Sorry. Sorry. Was, it, was that inflation? Inflation, inflation See, by Seth Race. He knows Race. every product that we have better than anybody on the team. Like he just, he's just got an index in his head. It, but it's, Seth it's Race. Inflation. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so that was that was it. I, I sent it to the guys, and they were like, "Wow, that's really good." That's so, good um, yeah, just went on from there. And so, um, and I just worked and worked and worked and worked and worked, bringing in three, four, five artists a month. Right, just and then maybe uh, not that many. Okay, maybe not that many, but uh, that might have been exaggerated. But anyways, a lot of artists. Put, putting in the OT. I was I was coming home from work, you know, being there with the family, eating. Whatever you got to do. Right. Then afterwards, three, four hours on Instagram, Facebook, social media, blah, blah, blah. Looking for new artists, new effects, new tricks. Reaching out to them. Making deals, offers, so on and so forth. On top of working on your editing skills, videography and photography. On top of those skills. Stuff, yeah. So, and then, and so now the progression has become, you started off with jogs, you did inflation, and now you've done trailers like Aeon, Metal 5, and other really big launch release trailers that we've had, you know, yeah. on the site. Yeah. And, you know, I got offered the job. Uh, I've told the story before you can go yeah. back and watch it, but just a quick thing. I was, I've always give 500, a thousand percent in every job that I do. Like it's always like as hard as I can go all the time. I want to be the best no matter what it is, whatever I'm focused on, I want to be the best at it. Um, so, I was working at FedEx at the time as a driver. Um, I was doing my job, and then I was doing another guy's job who was lazy, who was getting paid as much as me, which wasn't fair. Right. Uh, 
Anyways, uh, <laughs> he, uh, I got so sick and tired of doing that. And they put me, they put him in this brand new nice truck. They put me in this old rough truck that was like leaking. It was pouring the rain. It was leaking. I had to go around that truck, pull up the latch, push up this whole truck door that was barely rolling, climb up into the back of it. It was like five foot tall. Climb up in the back of it, grab the package, undo all that, put it back up. And I had to do that 107, 110 times a day. That's rough. Yeah. That's, that's rough. You yeah. earn every bit of the money. You make good money, but you earn every dollar of it. Mm-hmm. And I told, I called my wife and I was like, hey, I'm, I'm done with it. I'm right. so sick of this. Doing my work and then doing his work. He's getting paid almost the same as me, and I'm getting paid nothing extra. I'm, I'm quitting. Right. I'm going to go home. I got some money saved up. I'm going to go home. I'm going to quit. I'm going to find me another job. And uh, Garrett calls me. He's like, hey, what are you doing? And I was like, having the worst day of my life. And he's like, oh, I'm, wa- I'm walking my dog on the beach. And I thought, what a... You can believe that. <laughs> and uh, and he's like, so uh, I just want to know if you wanted to join us. Like, do you want a job? with illusionist and I was like yeah he's like tell your boss to uh, yeah and I'll see you uh, in two weeks I was like alright so yeah that's I don't know why we got off on that uh, well we started out with jogs so we, started <laughs> we started out with jogs we started with jogs that's, that's how jogs on, jogs and queens kind of took me from took point A to right. point C right so, so now to bring that full circle it's like you started out with jogs working on those jogs and queens and how do you feel about the trailers you made for those? Oh, they're, they're terrible. terrible. You don't like them? No. Well, we can't say they're ter- terrible. They're great. They're great trailers. If you're <laughs> but but start off making those, and then you could you could visibly see the difference in your work now in terms of uh, cinematography going from those to now doing like Aeon, which is a massive trailer. Metal Five again, a massive trailer. Doing work like that and growing in that respect, but it all kind of stems back down to Jogs, which is you know available on magic street yeah and, and you know garrett believed in me lloyd believed in me adam wilbur believed in me uh brad christian believed in me all these few different people were like okay well give this guy a chance yeah so when i so when people come up to me like oh how did you get a job at illusionist i tell them and they go oh that's a lot of work never mind right, right. <laughs> <laughs> nevin comes along and he's like How'd you get a job at Illusionist? Oh, well, here's what I did. And expecting absolutely zero results. And once you do, he goes out and buys a camera, buys a light, buys blah, 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 blah. What do you do? You start doing reviews. Yep. I uh, start doing reviews. Uh, what do you do after that? You know, whatever it was after that. So on and so on. And he does it all. And here he is. Yeah. And so, like, you could see, you could even see it on my YouTube channel. I was doing the reviews there. And so now that shifted from just doing reviews on my channel to now doing reviews for for illusionist for magic stream for you guys. They want to brag. I want to brag on you a bit. So it wasn't just what happens after the reviews. It was oh, Nevin, start bringing in a couple artists. Like uh, bring them in, send them to me. I'll make sure that you get all the credit right. because you done all the work. And the first artist he brought in, it's not 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 filmed, not released. Uh, is currently in manufacturing at the moment, so we can't talk about it or who it is or what it is. Brought in a monstrous, will be a 100,000% 100, a bestseller. One of the best sellers that we've ever had. It's an, it's an incredible <laughs> I didn't even know it was coming. <laughs> to be honest with you, I just I had reached out to a friend who's already put out a product with us. I'm not going to say who, but you'll see in the future. But he's already put out a product with us, reached out to him again, and said, Hey, do you got anything new? He sent it over. Gave us something incredible. Incredible. Absolutely incredible. Incredible. Really something to look Nevin, forward to. Nevin just, boom, within a day, brought it in. And <laughs> Haven't you know, brought it in anything since. I, you know, I said that to the guys. I was like, hey, you know, look at this. And they just freaked out. They're like, oh, wow. And I was like, kept, wait, I'm saying that wrong. Kept reiterating. 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 There you go. Yes, there you go. Yeah. So I kept saying it wrong. <laughs> kept reiterating that Nevin was the one who, who brought, I just bit my tongue. <laughs> Nevin is the one who brought that in. Over and over and over. Yeah, which is absolutely... And that kind of kind of landed the deal, didn't it? Yeah, that was it. That was, you know, giving the keys to the castle. Like, <laughs> in right. the words of Garrett right. Clark. Right, in the words of Garrett Clark. And so now here we are able to do all this stuff. So, you know, it, it really comes full circle. So what started with Jogs for Cody producing that uh, and then growing into what he's become has now helped me grow into what I became 
And for me, that effect was elastic, which is on Magic Stream. That was the that was the whole tipping point for me was even a Magic Stream release. I told Nevin when he came on, I was like, you know, we we joke so hard with each other, so yeah, it's it's, it's really a family. It's, it's hardly, hardly a team. It's really more of a family. We're introducing a few new members to the family, who which you'll find out probably after probably before this episode comes out. But uh, I don't want to spoil it if it doesn't. I'll tell happens. you who it is. Later. <laughs> <laughs> well, alright. <laughs> we'll find out later. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for sticking around watching this episode of Magic Stream. I really hope you enjoyed it. Again, if you want 10% off your first purchase, go ahead and use code Nevin at checkout for 10% off your first purchase of Magic Stream. Thank you guys so much again for watching, and I really hope you enjoy this episode. So, uh, see you in the next one. Peace.